If, if you can, visiting as many colleges, universities, even if you don't want to go away or go to a four-year college, it would just be good for you to see what it is. And all of these schools have programs for students your age to come and visit. Um, and I don't know if your school organizes trips like that, but if they do, you should definitely take a look at it because it'll be easier for you to envision yourself somewhere once you see it, right? I mean, Princeton was an Ivy League school that I thought was not for kids like me until my brother got in, and I was like, well, shoot, I'm a <laughs> And then I saw his life. I saw other students like me on campus. Um, so I felt like it was attainable when I actually saw it. Then there, you know, there are adults who will make wrong judgments about you in life. There are people who will make wrong judgments about you in life. And that still happens to me. It happened to me as First Lady. It happened, I write about during the course of my president's campaign when people told me that I didn't love my country and I was too bossy and I was too loud. They called me names, you know. So the world can do that to you. Um, but one thing you have to remember is that you can't define yourself by other people's limited expectations of you. Because people will do that. People will try to put folks in boxes that make sense for the things that go on in their head. And sometimes young people are the victims of that. And sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's ignorance, sometimes it's people's lack of exposure. You know, that, that, that counselor didn't really take the time to know me probably because she didn't have the time, because there were too many kids and she couldn't spend time getting to know all of us. So she quickly looked at me, looked at my background. I had great grades, so it couldn't have been my grades. It couldn't have been that I wasn't a leader because I was on the honor, in the honor society, I was the senior class treasurer. So I don't know what was it about her that in her mind said to me that I don't want you to reach too high. And I know we all, and I don't care where I go, and I have been in rooms with PhDs and doctors, and everyone has had that experience in their lives where somebody told them you shouldn't want what you want for yourself. Uh, when, I, when I was a freshman, I was in a one-room triple, and I didn't know my roommates. Um, there are two white girls, one, neither of them were really friends of mine, but we shared a room. And I remember in the middle of the school year, one of the girls just moved out. There was no conversation. I didn't really have interaction with her because I had a whole, they, everybody had their own sets of friends. We just shared a room. Everything was cordial, nothing ever went wrong. And it wasn't until I was first lady that the, this girl who left wrote an article about how bad she felt because she moved out of my room because her mother made the school move her because I was black. And so she writes about this later, and her mother is in the article talking about the fact that they were from the South and they you know, came from a, you know, just a tradition where you didn't trust black people. And she complained to the school. And the, to the school's credit, they never notified me about this. I just thought she moved, and I didn't really care. But afterwards, you know, and later on in life, she started to reflect on this because she had grown, and so had her mother. And you know, as it turned out, they moved away from me. <laughs> you know, she missed the opportunity of getting to know me. Because in your college application, you have a personal statement, which your personal statements are powerful. It is your opportunity to tell that admissions committee why you're special, why you're different, what you're going to bring to the table. And this is where owning who you are uniquely will make you stand out. Because you guys have to think about how many kids like you 
in your circumstance, with the challenges that you face, with the journeys that you travel, are going to be applying to that school. And you, you probably can just limit that number. Now, there'll be a bunch of kids with that perfect score applying. They're going to have thousands of those kids, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to pick some of them. And it's all arbitrary, because which kids with high scores get in and which kids don't. It's arbitrary. It doesn't define you, right? But your stories in this room, because I'm, I'm only guessing the things you've seen, the lives you've lived, telling that story is what's going to make you stand out.